Hi, my name is Bryn Matheny, and I'm the creature designer behind Alien Zoo. I'll be sharing a bit about how I created the trunk horse. This alien's anatomy pulls from horses, of course, but it also pulls from tapirs, camels, and other ungulates. When I design creatures for entertainment, I usually start with pencil and paper. I like to draw on a paper called vellum. It's a thick tracing paper that gives me the ability to build up concepts by layering pages. I like to start my concept drawings with blue cold erase pencils. I lay in basic shapes and the general construction of the creature. A smudge stick is a handy tool for quickly blocking in form and lighting. As I work on this creature, I think about value and how I can show muscle definition. For a creature like this, it's a good idea to render out the concept at a three-quarter side view. This way the director can see the entire animal and its silhouette. After working out the concept on paper, I'll digitize the drawing using a scanner or taking a photo with my iPad. Taking my concepts into the digital realm gives me the ability to add color and texture quickly and I'm able to make changes as the concept moves through the production pipeline. To paint our trunk horse, I make a layer under my pencil drawing and start with a base color. As I work, I use different layers for different things. A layer set to overlay is good for lighting, while a layer set to normal is better for laying in opaque details on top of the pencil layer. Markings like these can help sell your creature design as a lived-in species. As I paint the trunk horse's pattern, I'm thinking about animals here on Earth. A lot of animals use markings for camouflage, but they can also be used for temperature regulation and even attracting mates. Drawing creatures requires a lot of drawing real animals. Being familiar with their anatomies is how I am able to construct creatures that look believable. When I'm finished working on the concept, a whole team of skilled and talented 3D artists bring our trunk horse to life.